Hello everyone, and welcome back to TCOB Productions. About a week ago, I was at the local Blockbuster, and I decided to pick up this. Brothers Grimm. Um, when I first saw this, I had sort of uh, mixed expectations. Admittedly so, I don't know much about the... I didn't know much about the Brothers Grimm, uh, besides the fact that they were a pair of scholars who uh, made a point of collecting German folk tales, eventually combining them into one some consolidated work. But I did have a decent knowledge of this. The Grimm's Fairy Tales. Why do I like these so much? Because they bite off the toes that Disney won't. Um, indeed, the Grimm's, Grimm's Fairy Tales, for those of you who don't know, um, do tend to have a lot of more, um, well, grim elements. Uh, for example, in the story of Cinderella, um, the evil stepsisters actually chop off bits of their toes in order to, so that they can get, uh, get their feet into the glass slipper. Go figure. Anyway, um, but yeah, I wasn't exactly sure how this movie was going to go. However, I'm very pleased to say that I enjoyed it a great deal. Um, the basic storyline is that William and Jacob Grimm, played by Matt Damon and Heath Ledger, respectively, and very well, by the way, um, are a pair of, uh, con artist heroes who are preying upon the superstitions of the small villages in French-occupied Germany, constructing elaborate hoaxes and seeming to kill off uh, mythical creatures, witches, river trolls, that sort of thing, making themselves very, very wealthy. However, when they're called into the village of Mabordan, um, where a number of strange incidents have been occurring, um, they discover that perhaps what they originally took to be uh, mere hoaxes are perhaps a little bit more. So, yeah, into the movie. Uh, let's dive right in. Starting off, um, the movie very, very cleverly incorporates a number of d different Grimm's fairy tales, including um, Little Red Riding Hood, uh, Hansel and Gretel, even a, cu uh, even a few little mentions to um, Rapunzel and uh, Snow White. They also include one fairy tale, which really I didn't much care for, which is uh, the Gingerbread Man. Certainly they did it in a pretty gruesome format, um, which was nice because that's sort of the trend that the movie followed, um, very closely to the uh, same style of the fairy tales themselves. But um, as far as the point of its being in there, it just really, it seemed that the movie could have done it without it. Um, but anyway, and if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, now, the tone of the movie was very, very nice. Um, it really encompassed the sort of grungy feeling of the time period in Germany. And also there's a really nice juxtaposition between the French and the Germans. Um, the French being just sort of pompous and all, and pompous and, um, sort of all civilized and at the same time being terrible, cruel, and just plain disgusting. Um, meanwhile, the Germans being sort of a more salt-of-the-earth people, um, if a bit superstitious. Um, the acting in the film was very, very nice. Um, both Matt Damon and Heath Ledger, uh, carried off the roles very, very well. Um, and, uh, and as far as Heath Ledger goes, um, you know, I, I'd only seen him in his performance in uh, The Dark Knight, so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, but I really, really liked um, his performance and the character. And the characters um, of this movie are also really, really um, well-developed. Um, both the Brothers Grimm's themselves, um, uh, their guide slash love interest, um, Angelica, and also, um, the French agent Cavaldi, um, the greatest torturer in France. Um, uh, the camera work in this movie is really, really good as well. Um, particularly for, uh, one scene where it's, um, a pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a, a fluid master shot of, um, the, uh, the wolf attacking, or, um, chasing after a Little Red Riding Hood. The camera work in that, um, is really, really cool because you're not exactly sure if it's a POV or a hel uh, copter shot or what. Um, but yeah, so that's, that was a good part of the movie. Um, 
What else? Oh, um, the effects were really, really good. Um, I'll spoil one of them for you. Um, there's a wolf transformation of sorts, um, you know, where a guy takes on the form of a wolf and vice versa. Um, and when he, when this character transforms from a wolf form to human, it's not like, you know, the, uh, the typical fluid sort of morph that you'd expect. Um, it's a lot more, you know, um, grimy. F it has a it has a very unique feel to it. That this is almost just more like a, a skin almost than an actual uh, new form. But anyway, um, so uh, yeah. Overall, I would say it's a very very good movie. Um, and it works on a number of levels. For a fan of the Grimm's Fairy Tales, it's nice because it's a sort of a reimagining of that. And it's also you know a good fantasy action film as well. Um, so yes, I would say I approve it. it. Um, view it or screw it goes, I'd say view it. Um, so until next time, keep watching and farewell.